Hello everybody. Um, sorry I've not posted a video for a while. Um, I haven't, to be honest, picked that many records up uh, recently um, that have been of terrible interest, so that's the reason for that. Um, hopefully that will change today. Um, I've had a visit from um, the postie. Um, I've got, I think, quite an interesting one for you today. Um, and it's a bit of a conundrum too. So I'm going to be asking um, a couple of questions. Um, if you know anything about um, the American um, releases, uh, the American Beatles releases, then um, yeah, uh, I would appreciate some input. Um, funnily enough, um, just a couple of weeks ago, um, I was watching a video from my friend Beetle Dave and um, I mentioned um, to him in the comments um, that this is one of the records that I don't have um, and that I was sort of semi on the lookout for one. Um, and so without further ado, hi Dave if you're watching, without further ado let's set the old camera up and you can see what I'm blathering on about. So uh, Well, let's just pause this. You don't want you don't want to watch me opening this. So, more than enough bubble wrap on this. Okay. So we've got a copy of Introducing the Beatles, which was, of course, the Yankee um, version of Please Please Me. Um. And as you can see, fascinatingly, it is still in shrink wrap. So, a few questions on this. Um, can I, I'm aware that um, there were plenty of counterfeits of this record, um, which isn't something that you really um, come across if you collect uh, the British ones. I don't really think there was such a counterfeit uh, record market um, at this side of the pond. Um, so, um, can we tell just by looking at the sleeve whether it was a counterfeit or not? So we've got this VJ um, logo here. We've got a catalogue number um, LP. 1062 here. Um, I must say that the print looks a bit cheap, but I don't know if that is standard or not. I'm aware that some of them had like a white banner at the top. Um, let's have a look at the spine. So it says VJ there introducing the Beatles there um, and it says VJ again there um, and I'm aware that there were a couple of different track listings here as well um, so I think on other copies it maybe had please please me on it and I think there's a couple of different um, couple of differences with the tracks and so anybody that knows anything about this record what do you think also I'm wondering if it were a counterfeit would it have been shrink wrapped in the first place so what do you think and then Furthermore, what should I do with it? Should I keep it as is? Um, I would say it's probably quite valuable just as it is. Um, I think it's. Pro I think I paid something like twenty five quid for that. Um, 
I think it's worth quite a bit more than that. Um, but there's all there's the possibility that um, by opening it, I find out it's a counterfeit, in which case um, that hugely devalues it. Um, and so do I open it? Do I leave it as it is? Um, do I keep it? Do I see if I can flip it and make a few quid on it? Um, it's an interesting one. Um, like I say, not the sort of questions I'd have ever been asking uh, when buying the British equivalents, because I'm pretty sure that neither were they shrink wrapped, nor was there a huge um, counterfeit market scene over here. So yeah, it's an enigma wrapped up in a conundrum, if you like. Um, so what do you think? Let me know in the comments box. Um, and I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more similar nonsense. Um, but for now, that's it for me. So I'll see you again soon. Cheers, everybody. Goodbye.